Mm, I'm about to do it. I'm about to do it. And now we're live. Now we're live on both Facebook and uh, YouTube. Okay. Enjoy the music a little bit more. Hi, everybody. If you're watching from the United States right now, you know what to do. If you don't, welcome to the show. Give me a one. I want to see a one in the comments if you're watching from the United States. If you're watching from Vietnam, oh, I see a lot of twos already. Hello, Dung. Hi, everybody. Okay. We're going to turn the music down for a second. I got to tell you something. I got to tell you. Okay. 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 Let's dance a little bit more. All right. Turn it down. Turn it down. Turn it down. Turn it down. Okay. Just turn it off. Just turn off. Not all off altogether. Okay. Tonight, we're going to talk about, um, like, how do you know when it's time to retire? Like, most people want to retire like right away but most people aren't ready to retire and when i say ready yeah i'm talking about money do you have enough money to, to retire early i'm also talking about the other side of it like hồi xưa ba của lina retired rất là sớm my dad retired very very early in fact he and i both retired when we were 49 nhưng mà guess what at 49 you're still pretty young so when he retired and he stayed home, like he drove my mom crazy. So sometimes when you're you're young, Nyingma, what are you going to do after you retire? Well, <laughs> Nikla, if you're used to working all your life and, and you're used to working hard, oh, then you got to think about how does it affect your life when you stop working? So not only financially, but also emotionally, right? And the quality of life. What do you do with your time? Um, có một người nói là my dad was a workaholic retired two years ago. Now he stays at home and complains all day. Trời. Thì vì nếu mà mình đang mà mà like you know active mà mình retire, you need another plan too. It's okay to retire, nhưng mà you need to do something with that time. Một là nó sẽ ảnh hưởng đến um, sức khỏe của mình. Okay, and you want to be happy when you retire. Because happiness also affects physical health. First of all, do I have people in the audience right now who are already retired? Go, I retired, Jill. Give me an R for already retired. I know Jim's already retired. I know dad's already retired. But after talking to people, there's a wide range. Có những người là 60 mấy tuổi đang đi làm. Like 67, still working. And some of those people là đang làm tại vì họ cần phải làm. They don't have enough money to stop working. And then some of those people là, you know, they just think, you know, tôi mà còn khỏe mạnh là, là đi làm, tội gì không đi làm, đi làm lẫn luôn. Why not? Right? And it's different for different people. Do you know, do you know there, there's another kind of retired? There's another kind of retired. You know what it's called? Starts with an S. Not sort of, <laughs> not semi, it's soft retirement. Hmm? Soft retirement, look at We'll talk about that later too. So uh, we have David who is 49 and planning to retire this year. Join the club, David, join the club. There is something very special about being able to retire at 49. And if I'm gonna make a bet, David, you're not just going to sit at home and do nothing, right? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay, here we go. Is it time to retire? How the heck do you know? How do you know? When I talk to people and I ask them, when do you want to retire? Most of them laugh. And when I see them laugh, I already know what's going on. Sometimes they laugh because... They, they feel they're kind of mucka because they're only like 30 something and they want to retire early. Nothing wrong with that. Sometimes they laugh because they want to retire early, but they know they can't because they have not saved enough money. So they laugh almost like an embarrassed laugh. Well, I, I want to retire in five years. Impossible. Impossible. Okay. So, um, so people often laugh when I ask them and then, and then we get serious and we start figuring it out. 
So how do you know when it's time to retire? These are the things that we need to ask ourselves when we're thinking about retirement, okay? Consider job satisfaction, physical and mental ability to work, financial stability, healthcare coverage, that's big, and also life satisfaction. Let's take a, first, uh, a look at the first thing, job satisfaction. People who work in a job that's not a good match um, for them are more likely to rush a retirement. But if you retire too early, that can have some serious financial consequences, right? Especially if you're younger and you don't qualify yet for Medicare or Social Security, retiring too early could be a problem. Okay, so here are the things that you need to be asking yourself when it comes to job satisfaction. Are you ready to stop working or are you just ready to stop your current job? From personal experience, I thought I was just done working. I didn't want to work any. I just was done working. And then I found out I was just done with my current job. Okay. Job satisfaction wasn't there anymore. I was tired. I wasn't getting out what I really wanted from that job. So you need to think, are you really ready to stop working or just the current job? Like, would you still retire if you were in a better work environment? Very, very important. Okay. So you have to think that sometimes your lack of satisfaction has nothing to do um, with the fact that you don't want to work anymore. It might be just the job. And then sometimes it's about your ability to do the job. Physical and mental ability to work. Okay, some jobs could be physically demanding, um, like construction. Okay, you don't have what it takes physically to do it anymore. Oh, and you know what, Quivi? Oh, not just not just uh, construction. nail That is a repeated motion. Okay, the way they have to sit every day, the way they use your hands and fingers every day. It's all very important. So it's not just construction. Nail workers, hairstylists on their feet all day. So look at your job. Um, sometimes you may have cognitive problems that prevent you from, from doing your job. And both of these, whether it's physical or um, the mental ability to work, you should be talking to your doctor. Your doctor can help you come up with some kind of a timeline, right? Your doctor could say, you know, I would say in about three years or five years or 10 years, whatever, this could be a real problem for you. So then you and your doctor can actually come up with a timeline. And then you can really plan on when you need to stop working because of physical or mental ability. Now we're going to look at financial stability because once you're retired, you're probably going to want to stay retired. And that means you're going to need money. You have to have enough money saved to meet your needs. So when I talk to people, when I have my meetings, I, I go through the expenses with them, right? So I, I really sit down and I, I mean, I ask, they, they have never thought about it before. Lina hỏi từng tí, từng ly, từng tí nha. Tiền nhà, tiền xe, mấy cái đó là the big items I'm not worried about. And then I said, well, how about gas money? Mỗi tháng mình đổ xăng nhiều, right? Mình đi ăn uống, mình đi grocery shopping. It, every little thing. And we figure out what their expenses are now. And then we look at, oh, what might your expenses be later when you're retired? Now, you may think, your expenses later will be lower. You could be wrong. Uh, you may think that your income will be higher or lower than it is now. You could be totally wrong. We need to figure it out, right? So these are some benchmarks that are really helpful. They're really helpful. If you save at least eight times your salary by the age of 60, oh boy, oh boy, let's see. 
this was my salary and times eight. You know, I'm not 60 yet. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Or if you save at least 10 times your salary by the age of 67. And if you're in the ballpark, okay? Hangul gung lefai, exactly. Nyingma, if you're in the ballpark of these benchmarks, you could be in good shape for retirement. Okay, so remember that. Eight times your salary by the age of 60 or 10 times your salary by the age of 67. Are you in the ballpark? And then if you're married, if you're married, well, lucky you. If you're married, there are other things you need to consider. You need to think about whether pension payments will be in a lump sum, single life, joint life. I've talked to a lot of people who have a pension. They don't know anything about it. Nothing. Find out. Ask questions. Ask questions so you can plan before you retire. Don't wait until you retire and find out that you suddenly have to make a decision and you don't know which is the best decision. Okay? All right. Whether your spouse will retire at the same time as you do. Well, if you really like each other, that would be awesome. Because a lot of people, Saukima retired. Who are you going to need you lit with? <laughs> okay. You have to think about when you're both going to start taking Social Security. And then when you're going to start taking those distributions from 401k, IRA, pension, other retirement plans. And you know what I'm going to say next, right? You know what I'm going to say next, right? Do not forget taxes. You have been putting off paying taxes. Do not forget your taxes. And if you forget to figure that in, you're going to be in trouble. I posted an article the other day about Social Security running out. If you are shocked by this, you're fired. Do not count on the government. By the way, the government in 1978 created the 401k because people were having to pay 70% of their paycheck in tax. The government imposes taxes. Then they create a program so that you don't have to pay your taxes now so that later you can pay taxes on a bigger amount of money. If they really wanted to fix it, they would just get rid of income taxes, right? But okay, I'm not going to get into that. Enjoy. Let's get back on track, y'all. Health care coverage. No matter how healthy you are, when you stop working at some point in your retirement, your health care needs will increase. If this surprises you, you're fired too. So planning your health care costs, key aspect of planning for retirement. That will be your largest largest, greatest portion of your budget goes to health care costs. The average couple who is now 65 will need $295,000 to cover medical costs in retirement. That does not include long-term care. That means like if you stay pretty healthy. That's if you stay pretty healthy. But you, if you, if you get a terminal illness, or if you get like critically ill, if you get cancer, if you get any of these these um, illnesses that require more than just periodic doctor's visits, you're not covered. Families go bankrupt because of medical bills. Min kong ko mun la than gat nang cho con cái. You have to think about medical bills in the future. Đừng có nghĩ là Medicare với là health insurance is good enough because it is not. It is not. I don't want people to be confused. Healthcare, okay? Health insurance and Medicare will not take care of the costs that we're talking about. It will not. Đừng có nghĩ là 
Mai mốt tôi già tôi sẽ có Medicare không sao hết. Wrong. That is wrong quý vị ơi. Tại vì quý vị chưa đổ bệnh, quý vị mới quý vị không biết. So let's prepare before we get sick, okay? So let's talk about long-term care. If you are 65 years old, of all the people who are 65 years old today, you have nearly 70% chance of requiring long-term care services in the future. And do you know why this number goes up? Because we are living longer. So it's like, oh, yay, great. We get to live longer. Oh, my gosh. That means we're going to need more medical care. So that is something you must take into consideration. Medicare does not provide coverage for long-term care associated with the daily activities of living, even if your health care expenses are covered. What does that really mean to all you youngsters out there who don't know what long-term care is when people talk about it? It means there are um, six activities of daily living. It is um, being able to move, okay, like to walk, to move, being able to feed yourself, being able to shower or bathe yourself, being able to dress yourself. Oh, I'm going to forget. I need two more, two more. Um, incontinence and going to the toilet by yourself. Six things. And if if you need help with those six things, okay, any of those six things, those that's the kind of care that we're talking about. So when I've been helping people uh, to get life insurance that includes includes the, the living benefits, we call them living benefits, those are the kind of costs that we're talking about. If you went and you bought long-term care on your own, like a long-term care standalone policy, oh my gosh, it is so expensive, very, very expensive. And then if you are in a policy where you have to pay a fee, well, then now each time you pay a fee, okay, and if you haven't heard me say this yet, if you hear the word fee, that means whatever you're paying out is gone. Oh, mình trả cái tiền phi là mình trả ra là mình nó đi rồi. It's like paying rent. You pay it out, gone. So like best case scenario is getting yourself protection that includes it. Because guess what? Not all of you will need it. Like if you are super healthy, you may not ever need it. Well, then you don't want to be paying a fee for something you don't use. And then have it included. And guess what? If you don't use it, you could use the cash. What? Hold on. That deserves a sound effect. That's right. If you don't use it, you can use the cash. You smell nice. Okay. That's the kind of stuff we're talking about. Lastly, we're talking about life satisfaction. In addition to the um, logistics of retirement, all the stuff that we talk about, getting your stuff in order, making sure you have enough money, what to do with the 401k, where will you live, who will you live with, who's going to take care of you, how you're going to pay for it. You also need to consider the emotional and personal fallout of retirement. Many people who retire enjoy the freedom of travel. They visit family. They explore their hobbies. But there are some people, when they stop working, they experience a lack of direction. They're bored. They actually have a loss of life satisfaction when they retire. I know most of you are saying, what? I would love to retire. You, you don't actually know that. So it all depends on what's going on in your life, what kind of person you are, what kind of family you have, right? So most people love it when they retire. Some people actually have a hard time for it, uh, with it. They just feel like, 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 kind of like vo yong, right? Like you're, like it's useless. Like some people need some kind of direction. Um, the person earlier who shared about their dad, see, dad. After retirement, her dad do, do, doesn't, or his dad doesn't feel good anymore. He may be bored. That's something you also must consider. So how about going for a trial run? 
trial run là mình thử đó quý vị ơi kind of like a test run khi mà mình, mình mua xe đó a test drive so maybe you can start exploring you know some of your hobbies or, or other things that that you want to do and a lot of people do some consulting as a side gig side gig là, là những công việc mà just on the side thôi đó không phải là công việc chính của mình nhưng mà it's not a bad idea to take some time and kind of try it out like if you say you are going to uh, start golfing no that's a bad example but anything else that you want to do try it for a little bit can you see yourself doing that almost every day this is what i was talking earlier soft retirements a lot of people i know do soft retirements that means one foot in one foot out right maybe you scale back the hours or take extended vacations some people have built out a lot of vacation time use that vacation time take an extended vacation see how it feels okay do you really want to retire now for a lot of people the answer is going to be hell yes who said hell yes if you said hell yes put a y on the screen for me who wants to retire so if i could share with you just my personal experience with retirement okay very honestly i was unhappy with work like every single time i i went to work i just felt like i have to go to work this isn't a job that i loved okay loved for 20 something years Nyungma, i think that because my life changed and also because work changed that i wasn't that in love with it anymore nên mỗi ngày mình phải là oh my god phải đi làm phải đi làm and then take into consideration your your family situation so lúc mà lina retired đó, là đứa con lớn là sắp sửa vào high school and đứa nhỏ là sắp sửa vào middle school and throughout their whole childhood i was always working okay khi nào cũng là cái người nanny người nanny lo cho nó ăn người nanny uh, it was uh, the nanny took care of everything because i worked nights and so when that is waiting for me at home bởi vậy mình đi làm mình không có được vui là cứ là mình feel giống như là phải đi làm đó khi đó mới feel là đi cày đó quý vị ơi còn khi mà mình thích đó đi làm mình thích lắm hai mươi mấy năm làm như vậy rất là vui vẻ thích lắm like i wouldn't do anything else nhưng mà it got to a time when i just wasn't fulfilled i wasn't happy anymore đi làm mà cứ là you know when when you look forward to the weekend so much then maybe you're not so happy at work anyway so look at your reasons nhiều người họ cứ nghĩ là bây giờ tôi muốn tôi muốn về hưu cho rồi you know nhưng mà họ không có biết nhìn cho nó sâu phải là tại vì công việc bây giờ không nếu mà mình làm công việc khác mà mình thích hơn á khi đó mình mình có tính về hưu chưa hay là chưa so look at that okay um and then when i retired i was so happy oh tự nhiên nó nhẹ của người á i just felt i was a different person i mean i did all the things that i couldn't do before con cái mà có football game volleyball game là game nào cũng đi hết oh, vui là, i just loved it và khi mà họ cần người volunteer ở ở trường học á volunteer liền tới làm you know serve đồ ăn cho football team này kia oh không có gì bằng á i was so happy and then it was like oh hmm well well now now what am i going to do và gặp khi đó mà lina retire sau đó là bị covid nên ai cũng ở nhà hết. Khi đó là mình có cái purpose. Ok. Chồng á, thì làm việc ở cái tầng first floor. Uh, I was in the second floor and my kids each were in their rooms on the third floor. They went to school via Zoom. Husband was working via Zoom. Um, and I did stuff in my studio. And then I loved it because then I could go and make lunch for everybody. Rồi uh, then I could make dinner for everyone. And lâu lâu mình chạy xuống mình coi ông xã là đang làm gì lâu lâu mình chạy lên trên coi hai đứa cần gì không 
So it was perfect timing for me. And I felt great and I felt useful and I felt like this is what I was made to do. I was made to be like super mom and super wife. And I was really, really happy. And then the world started getting back to normal. Kids went back to school. My dog isn't as happy to see me anymore. Man, Quincy. Hồi trước á ha, mỗi lần đi làm về trời ơi, chó nó mừng dễ sợ luôn á. Bây giờ mình ở nhà cả ngày nó... He doesn't care anymore. But then life changed. And I still feel young. And I want I want to do something. And then I started a YouTube channel. Okay, I started this channel last year for fun. And quý vị biết sao không? Now I feel like I have a purpose. Mặc dù nó rất là, nếu mà có thể đối với quý vị, nó rất là insignificant, nó rất là, nó không có gì là quan trọng. Mình nhảy tiếng Anh trên YouTube, nó không gì là quan trọng. Nó, it's nothing. Nhưng mà đối với Lina đó, It gives me something to do that I really, really like. And throughout my whole career, I love talking to people. I love, you know, finding out about different things. I love telling people about different things. So then I had something to do. And then people started asking me about retirement. And then I started talking to people about retirement and how they can do it what they need to look at. Chứ hồi trước quý vị biết không? Khi Lina mà, mà, mà nghĩ việc đó, tự nhiên cái life insurance ở sợ làm mất luôn. Không, không có còn gì nữa. Mà Lina làm đó là mấy chục năm rồi đó. And when I stopped working, it was uh, gone, done. And they told me if I wanted to continue the insurance, I'd have to pay a lot. So I found out these little things. Và sau này, uh, nói chuyện với những người mà làm chung đó, họ cũng là sắp sửa mà, mà nghĩ làm. So I started helping them. I said, this is what you need to know. This is what you need to do. Cái 401k của mình, mình làm xong bây giờ sao? Bây giờ mình quá trẻ, mình đâu có lấy tiền đó được đâu. What do, I, what do you do with it? Okay? Lina phải nghĩ làm khi đó mới biết. So I was telling my friends what they needed to do, what they needed to look at. For those of you who don't know, my husband is in healthcare and finances. And and he also teaches finance at USC. So we are both people who like to work. And we don't know how to do things slowly. When we do something, it's 110%. And we do everything to the, our, the best of our ability. And I've always said to my kids, I said, it doesn't matter what it is that you do, but it does matter that you do it the best way you can. Meaning, if you are a dishwasher, nothing wrong with that. But be the best gosh darn dishwasher anyone has ever seen. That's the way we raise our children. That's the way we were raised. And that's the way we live our life. Mình làm cái gì đó, mình làm hết mình luôn. The best of our ability. So when I started helping people figuring out their retirement, figuring out their finances, okay, figuring out their taxes, we said, oh my gosh, there is a need out there. There is a big need out there. And as they say, the rest is history. So that's why now, even in retirement, I am busier. I am busier than when I was working. And actually, nếu mà thật sự hồi, hồi xưa Lina làm ở đài TV đó, uh, I called it brainless work. <laughs> to me, it was easy. That's why I called it brainless work. And even though I was there all day, thật sự mình không có làm gì nhiều là tại vì mình đợi đến giờ nói tin tức thì mình đọc thôi. Hồi lúc xưa là mình tự viết bài này kia nhưng mà sau này đó, sau này hồi là Lina làm anchor là người khác viết, mình chỉ đọc thôi. Đúng giờ là mình đi ăn. Okay, mình đi ăn, sometimes mình đi ăn and then mình ngồi coi tivi. 
Nuk kajtë i vizhoj me në linë Facebook. Honestly, that was my work night. That's why I was on Facebook all the time. Tëj jë dakë tënë. And then di vëhë. And every single day. Thì khi mà Lina muốn nghỉ làm thì má của Lina mới nói là Trời, làm. Nhưng mà con làm việc khỏe ra. Ra là cái gì vậy? Nhưng mà cứ khỏe ra. Con làm việc khỏe ra như vậy mà sao mà muốn nghỉ là sao? Nhưng mà the, the thing that I like is mình làm cái gì mình muốn là nếu mà mình được còn uh, tìm hiểu được, mình learn được á, right? Hoặc là mình chia sẻ với người khác cái gì đó. If I feel like I'm being useful, if I feel là cái cái gì mà mình làm nó matter, okay? That's when I'm happy. That's when I'm happy. Bởi vậy, retire rồi nhưng mà bây giờ rất là bận rộn. And I'm happier for it. She meant, I know, she meant I had an easy job. It is. Nhưng mà, I'm not always looking for easy. Phải không? Some people, they just want the easy way out. And you look khi mà nó quá easy thì mình thành, như là mình bored. Uh, mình không có được quá hân hái để đi làm. So, I have been so happy to help people. And, có thể nếu mà Lina nói, quý vị không có tin. But I'm going to say it anyway. Nhiều lúc mình làm việc and just một, một cái lời cảm ơn, một cái lời mà, oh, you know, when people thank me for helping them and I can feel that they're so grateful, I can feel that I made a difference. Oh, that makes me feel so good. Like, you can't pay me enough for that. Like, mình làm, mình có tiền, mình lãnh tiền. That's one thing, to receive a paycheck. But when your work gives you some this other thing this feeling of you made a difference this feeling là mình thực sự mình không có vô dụng mình mình còn giúp được người này mình còn giúp được người kia that's very important to me so maybe it's not important to other people nhưng mà it's very important to me my husband is the same um chỉ thích giúp người i do mà cái cái đó là từ lúc nhỏ nha So ever since I was a kid, okay, so we came here when I was five, I was a refugee kid, and từ lúc nhỏ là mình cứ thấy là cha mẹ đi làm a lot, rồi để dành tiền, để gửi về Việt Nam, để giúp uh, gia đình bên Việt Nam. Rồi sau khi mà khắc khá rồi đó, khi đó là bắt đầu là giúp like other people, chứ không phải là người trong nhà. And that's how, that's how I was raised. So from a young age là bắt đầu là làm như như nghe người ta quyên tiền để giúp ai đó. Love it. Because I feel like I made a difference. I know some people who, um, những người mà không có tiền đó, họ nghĩ nếu mà có tiền nhiều là sẽ vui, sẽ hạnh phúc. Và những người đó không có thích khi mà họ nghe người khác nói là money can't buy happiness, right? Họ không tin Họ nói mấy người mà nói như vậy là nói um, Nói gì? Nói dốc hả? Nhưng mà really, thực sự như vậy I feel that way Thà Lina làm ít tiền But Cái người mà mình giúp Họ feel cái Họ feel cái grateful Họ, họ feel như là I, I can't even explain it to you Nhưng mà cái đó nó làm cho mình Like it makes me Like it gives me strength Bây giờ làm việc mệt đến cỡ nào Mình thấy họ vui, mình thấy họ mừng oh, I can keep on going Bởi vậy quý vị biết sao không? Lúc đầu mới mới làm việc lại đó Ooh. I was working until like midnight And then 4 giờ sáng là cái đầu này nó dậy rồi nè Là bắt đầu là thinking Hôm nay là phải gọi chị này Hôm nay phải làm này kia này oh. um, And now I'm, I'm Learning to manage it a little bit. That's the, the other thing. Your health is the most important thing. <clears throat> the most important thing. Because without it, you cannot jo enjoy your money. You cannot enjoy your family. You cannot enjoy your time. So please take care of your health. So when you start 
looking at cái tiền mình đó, chi phí của cái cái hàng tháng trong gia đình đó, trong nhà cửa mình chi phí. Look at what you're spending and then think about what part of that are you spending that you're taking care of yourself. So when I help people and they know down the road nếu mà họ bệnh họ sẽ có tiền mà cái số tiền có để trị bệnh đó, là nó gấp mấy cái số tiền mà họ đóng vào và sau này khi họ mất sẽ có một số tiền lớn để lại cho con cái and they feel good and I feel good and it's worth it so there you go job satisfaction make sure you can physically and mentally still do your job are you unhappy at work or are you just unhappy at your current job i bet most of you are just unhappy at your current job and sometimes it's impossible to find another place that's going to make you happy so sometimes it is better to start thinking about retirement because when you're unhappy at work everything else is miserable right um there's only one other thing that can make it better And that's being happy at home. If you are happy at home, then the unhappiness at work goes down. That's 100%, quý vị ơi. Mình hạnh phúc ở nhà, mình vui vẻ ở nhà. Thì khi mà mình đi làm những cái chuyện mà nó, nó làm cho mình bực mình, đó, it's not that important anymore. Còn như nếu mà ở nhà, mình không hạnh phúc, mình không vui vẻ thì khi mình đi làm những cái chuyện mà mà như là làm cho mình bực mình ở sở làm á nó 10 times worse that's just the way it works and guess what when you're that unhappy at home and you're that unhappy at work it will affect your health 100% it will affect your health Không có nói về sắc là là, là sắc đẹp nữa, S- sắc gì? Is that, is that right? <cười> Tại vì sau này khi mà Lina retire rồi đó, and then uh, my friends, mấy người làm chung á, my friends at work, like they would run into me, uh, đi chợ, rồi they run into me, hoặc là có lần đi uh, uh, gặp ở phi trường. Cái ông mà hồi trước là ngồi bên cạnh mình để nói tin luôn đó, ran into him at, at the airport. And he just looked at me and he said, oh my God. He says, you look so relaxed. It it shows on your face. Uh-huh. Mà không phải là họ, họ nói để họ um, lấy lòng mình or anything. And he was like, honestly, jealous. He nói là nhìn, tự nhiên, nhìn trẻ hơn, mà you look relaxed. And a lot of people said that to me. Mình không biết, mình không để ý Nhưng mà khi mà mình không có vui đó It shows on your face It does M- Mấy cái này nè Hồi trước là nó dữ lắm đó nha Bây giờ là cần Bây giờ tại vì già thôi chứ không phải là tại vì bực mình or anything Oh I've been so busy I haven't been doing my my face facial massages I have to do it again Because now I can see Bữa kia có một cô rất là dễ thương uh, She commented on YouTube Because I was show, I showed the the uh, the face massages that I was doing every morning and she said she she's been doing them and it she can see a difference see that that makes me happy too khi mà Lina chia sẻ những cái cái even though nó small nhưng mà nghe người khác nói là they tried it and it works and they love it I, that makes me so happy just like Jim ông Jim này nha he said hit the like button quý vị hit like button chưa ông Jim á Ông có 80 tuổi rồi. And mới tuần vừa rồi, ông, uh, he used my recipe for prime rib. And it was perfect. Oh, it, would, it looks so good. He ở một mình. He mua một cái nhỏ nhỏ thôi, mà he followed the recipe just like I said. He làm rất là ngon, chụp hình. And he posted it. And he, he said he thanked me for the recipe. Cái đó thôi mà làm cho Lina rất là vui. Um, so things like that. 
So be happy at home, be happy at work. It's going to affect your health and it's going to affect your aging process. The aging process. You can't fight it. It's going to happen. But don't help it. Uh-uh. Don't you be helping them wrinkles. So be happy. Good evening, Hong. I've changed and I'm so grateful. Là mình có cơ hội để về hưu sớm. Để mình thay đổi những cái tính của mình nè. Cái tính xấu của mình nè. Để bây giờ mình có cái time mình sửa lại. Bây giờ, tại vì nó ảnh hưởng đến con cái và trong gia đình. Tại vì thật sự Lina khó tính lắm đó nha. Khó tính nơi cái chỗ này nè. I demand the best. Ok, cái gì cũng vậy. Ai làm việc gì cũng là mình thấy mà họ làm không có perfect, nó khó chịu lắm. Nhưng mà I learn to back off. I learn to let it go. Và I learn, I take what's best what's best của um, của người Việt mình cũng như là what's best của cái, 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 cái cách sống của Mỹ. Lina thấy cái nào mà tốt. I, I combine the both. Okay? So like for, for my kids even though nó nhỏ, lúc đó nó nhỏ nhưng mà nó mà, mà được cái bi oh my gosh, la dữ lắm. Mà la mà don't, I scream and yell, right? And then now I've changed. And I see that nó cũng react to the way that I've changed. Nên bây giờ mình thấy nó làm cái gì giỏi, nó làm cái gì tốt. Mình khen cái đó trước đã. And it makes a big difference. Okay? Và có thể là hồi trước, uh, maybe nếu mà ông xã làm cái gì mà không có vừa lòng mình á, mình nói. And now... Nếu mà nó không có nó không có gì hết trơn á, you know it's a small thing. It doesn't bother me anymore. Còn hồi trước á ha, cái chuyện gì nhỏ mình không thích mình nói liền đó. Tại vì cái cái tánh Lina rất là thẳng, mình nói nói liền. Nhưng mà nói rồi sao? Nhưng mà guess what? Not everything has to be said. Sorry. Not everything has to be said. Mình đừng có nghĩ vì tánh mình thẳng nên cái đó là cái chuyện tốt thôi, có gì nói ra thôi. No. Tại vì có nhiều cái không nên nói ra. Nó không có lợi ích gì hết trơn á. Nếu mà công việc là khác ha. Tính Lina ở công việc là khác. Cái gì cũng phải đâu ra đó. Ai mà làm cái gì sai, Lina muốn biết là họ biết họ làm sai. Cái gì Lina làm sai, mình sẽ nói ra I did that, I was wrong. Nhưng mà ở nhà với bạn bè, với chồng con bởi vậy tiếng Anh kêu là don't sweat the small stuff. Don't sweat the small stuff. And the earlier you understand that, the happier you will be. And the happier the people around you will be. Nếu mà đứa con nó rửa chén, mà nó còn cái gì trong đó đó. Okay, hồi trước đó ha. Look at this, look at the way you wash the dishes. Is that the way you wash the dishes? Còn bây giờ đó, mình phải biết, mình phải nhìn là Oh, con nó giỏi quá Nó rửa chán cho mình So what do I do? Thanks honey Mình cảm ơn nó trước Cái đó là làm cho con mình mai mốt Nó cứ là muốn, nó muốn giúp Nó thấy cái gì nó Nó tự động, nó làm Và mình thấy nó làm, mình nhìn Lời cảm ơn thôi Just appreciation And oh, it makes a big difference Còn như nếu mà nó rửa chén mình cái nơi cái chén nó còn dơ gì đó mà mình nói đó mà cái cách mình nói đó, nó không có đáng phải không nó không có đáng mà nó làm trong cái it's not it's not happy và bây giờ cái chén đó nó rửa rồi mà nếu mà còn cái gì ở phía ngoài but whatever mình ăn mình có chết đâu no so I've changed a lot a lot And now I bring that forward with me, okay, when I work. So, tự nhiên Lina cảm thấy như là mình, like it's a second life for me. I really feel that. Là hồi trước khi mà mình làm việc, mình rất là thích 
the guy you go, oh, I just, I can't wait. And then I retired. I retired. And then after a couple of years, whoa, but yes, how? And so now I'm doing something else that I can't wait. I can't wait to get up every single day to do it. And I know that what I'm doing is helping so many people. Um, so what I was sharing with my friends on Facebook, this is something I am I'm really proud of because I, I've helped so many people and it's not just mình help trong lúc này thôi. Mình help họ nhưng mình nó sẽ ảnh hưởng đến tương lai của họ và tương lai của con cái của họ luôn. Like I, I couldn't have asked for something better. If you missed the first part of this video, you can go back, um, ask yourself, do you really want to retire? Joy, after you figure it out, and the answer is yes, I really want to retire, then make sure that you can. Make sure that you can. Just plan it. Plan it out. Bởi vậy, nếu quý vị đang 20s and 30s right now, boy, you are so lucky. You have a lot of time. And I can help you, and you don't even need a lot. And I can help you set up yourself for later in life. If you're in your 40s, see, there's a, there, it's all different at different stages of your life. But boy, you're in your 40s, you're really starting to make that money now. Think twice about what you're doing with it. Do you really want to blindly bought vào 401k? Let me help you figure it out. If you're in your 50s, you better get going. You need to figure out how many more years to retirement. What can you do today so that for sure, don't bun you numb daughter, quý vị sẽ retire được. Okay, that's a very important time. Late 40s, okay, late 40s, mid 50s, oh, that time frame right there. Like if there weren't so many freaks on social media, I'd give you my phone right now. You need to call me. We need to figure it out. Yeah, you you are starting to run out of time. We'll, we'll get you on the way to investing that is appropriate for your age. And now, Maguivi, Tính là sẽ retire. Quý vị đừng có đợi. You have to make a plan now. Để khi mình đến cái thời gian đó đó, mình retire một cách rất là dễ dàng. Không có cần lo, không có cần nhức cái đầu vì quý vị chưa có tính trước. Chưa tính trước tiền uh, tiền retirement, tiền 401k. 401k khi đó làm sao? Cứ để với sở làm hay là what do you do with it? Và khi nào bắt đầu lấy ra? Và khi lấy ra lấy ít hay nhiều đấy, thuế là sao? Take care of it first. If you saw my other video, if you have life insurance, oh my gosh, I got to say this again. Hold on, which which is the right, which is the right one for it? Not this one. No, nope, not that one. Oh, oh. Do you have life insurance? And if you haven't looked at it, if you haven't talked to your agent since you bought it, that's not good. If when you bought it, they told you that you could one day stop paying and that your policy should be able to nui itself, but you haven't talked to them, you haven't checked, that could be trouble. Nên nếu mà quý vị có một cái hợp đồng rồi đó mà lâu quá rồi chưa mình mua rồi sau đó mình không có nói chuyện với cái người agent. Let's look at it. Make sure it's the right thing for you. I have to share another story. I just yesterday my friend told me this. She nói chuyện với một người I think it's một người bà con. Và cái người bà con này với ông chồng đó uh, có là làm việc uh, có business uh, really good business. They they make good money. I won't say the company, nhưng mà mới nói ra cái tên của cái hãng là Lina biết là oh no rồi đó. For anyone who knows anything about life insurance or insurance, 
They have bốn đứa con nhỏ. Do you know how much life insurance she just bought for her kids? Đứa nhỏ nha. Mỗi đứa mới mua một triệu rưỡi tiền tử. What? Một triệu rưỡi tiền tử cho một đứa con nít có bốn đứa con. The kids' life insurance policy is $1.5 million, which is more than the dad's policy. The dad has a term policy for less than that. Just term. They make great money. The kids each have $1.5 million policy. And then when my friend said, Jay, that's not right. That's the wrong thing to do. You need to change it. Tại vì mới, mới trả tháng đầu thôi nha. She still has time. She still has time to get out. And you know what she said? Sợ mất lòng. Oh my God. Mình nghe mà mình, like, I don't, like, you should never sợ mất lòng. Người bán bảo hiểm. No. She's afraid of hurting the agent's feelings. Who told who totally has done a disservice to her family. 1.5 million dollars for each of the kids. The parents are underinsured. Parents are insured for less than their children. It's so backwards even in the beginning. I don't get it. But I do know this. A lot of people are in a lot of people are in that situation where they bought it from someone they kind of knew so they sợ mất lòng mà bây giờ nói bây giờ chị nên coi lại cũng là sợ mất lòng it is so weird họ không có sợ họ không sợ mất lòng chị khi mà họ bán cho chị why why would she be worried i don't get it mà cái chị này là mới vừa vào vào, vào cái hợp đồng nha Bây giờ nếu mà she tiếp tục trả đó, 5 years, 10 years, 20 years down the road, khi đó là cái tiền mình nó vào đó, vào đó, vào đó, không có build được tiền cash. Tại vì she chưa có hiểu what's going on. She không hiểu. She cứ nghe là tiền tử cao là tưởng nó là tốt. That's not it. Right? Bây giờ những ai mà đã nhìn lại, đã hiểu về life insurance, Those people know how crazy this is. Còn những ai chưa có hiểu life insurance, they think it's no big deal. Nhưng mà đã có người là đóng vào 20 năm mà phải chịu mất tiền, phải chịu mà, mà cancel. And don't be in that situation. Okay? Không sợ mất lòng ai hết trơn á. Đây là for you, you and your family. It's your kid's future. Mai mốt mà cái gì mà xảy ra, uh, xảy ra cho cha mẹ, con cái nó phải trả cái tiền của nó cho thôi nó mất hợp đồng. Nhưng mà cha mẹ, tiền, tiền tử cha mẹ ít hơn tiền tử của con. Nhưng mà cha mẹ là high earner. Bởi vậy cái người agent thấy họ làm được nhiều tiền, nên cứ là bán cho mắt. Do not sợ mất lòng ai. Do what's best for you and your family. I'm happy to look at it. I'm happy to explain it. I do have a video. It shows you exactly what to look for. Nhà cái số premium mà quý vị trả hàng tháng. Nhân 12. Mỗi năm trả bao nhiêu? Trả vào đó mấy năm rồi. Cộng nó lại. Very easy. Rồi bây giờ look for net cash value hoặc là surrender cash value. Rồi mình so sánh hai cái số nó sao? Nhiều người, unfortunately, cái tiền mình đóng vào nó nhiều hơn cái tiền cash trong cái hợp đồng. And that's not good. Okay? Như vậy là mình không chỉ là mất tiền thôi mà mình mất cái thời gian đó nữa. Khi đó mà mình vào một cái hợp đồng mà họ làm, họ làm mà có lương tâm chút đó, là quý vị, ok. So, please don't keep on waiting and you make it too late nhé. Yeah? Uh, và thêm nữa nha, cái sức khỏe của mình và cái tuổi của mình rất là quan trọng. 
càng ngày càng lớn tuổi thì giá nó càng cao. Quý vị mà bắt đầu mà uống thuốc ha, hoặc là sức khỏe mình mà bắt đầu xuống dốc đó nha. Nếu mà nó cover thì sẽ cao. So, so do it. You should have done it yesterday. Okay, should have done it yesterday. Okay, okay, everybody. I really appreciate you. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Bấm like bây giờ luôn đi. And here now is the music we play when we are done and we're going to relax. Are you ready? We're going to relax now. Here we go. And breathe. Okay. Little funky music. Relax. Mm -hmm. Thank everybody. Uh, love to my YouTube people. And big love to the new Facebook audience tonight. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Thursday. is uh, We're going to do one on Thursday. Some kind of English lesson. I'll think of something fun. I'll think of something fun. Maybe I'll do a lesson on how to insult in English. Would that be fun? Adults only. Adults only. Okay, everyone. Mwah! Love you. Have a good day in Vietnam. And a good night everywhere else.